it guys it's Jada Mahogany your beauty bestie and I'm back with another video so today we're gonna be talking about a couple things that you definitely need to know before you get seamless clip-ins so if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel so you do not miss anything and let's go ahead and get into it okay you guys so before we get started I just want to let you you all know that I'm gonna be speaking from um, a perspective of if you are wearing your natural hair out with the seamless clip-in so i have on seamless clip-ins all of my hair is out and i am wearing 200 grams so that is basically like two regular bundles of hair but they're on seamless clip-ins okay so the first thing that you need to understand when you're sh getting seamless clip-ins or you're going to install them on yourself or whatever the case may be these are really not meant to be slept in and I'm not saying that you can't, but here's the rundown of why you shouldn't, right? So imagine if you got a silk press and you want to keep your clip-ins in for whatever reason, right? How are you really going to wrap your hair? Like, you can't really wrap your hair because these clips and the seamless part is hard. So it's not really going to lay how you think it's gonna lay and then that is gonna cause for you to have to flat iron your hair or do things like that to keep it looking fresh so the best things for you to do when um, wearing seamless clip-ins with all of your hair out is to take the clip-ins out and wrap your hair or if you are wearing them let's say wand curls put your flexi rods on or your soft rollers on and take the clip-ins out. It's just gonna be the easiest thing and it's going to give you the best results without having to put heat back on your hair. If you keep them in, I can almost put money on it that the next morning, you are going to have to put some type of heat on your hair to get it to look how it was looking before. I'ma tell you that now. So every, every time I wanna wear mine, I take them out and I reinstall in the morning and it literally takes me 10 minutes. It actually takes me less time to put in these clip-ins than it would for me to do my makeup. So keep that in mind, okay? So the second thing I want you guys to know when purchasing and wearing seamless clip-ins with your hair left out is getting hair that is no more than about two to four inches past your natural hair length. And the reason I'm gonna tell you this and the reason that I'm saying it is because genuinely, it doesn't look good when you don't, okay? That's really what it boils down to. You can really see where your hair stops, where the clip-ins start, it's all this long hair, maybe your hair is short, or maybe you got shorter clip-ins and your hair is long. You're gonna be able to tell that like difference and if you're going for a very seamless look a very like i'm that you know kind of look you want to kind of get something that's going to um look like your real hair so i would highly suggest trust me because i went and got 18 inch and 16 inch and i'm gonna tell y'all now um this got cut it got cut because it just it wasn't it was looking crazy. Like, you know how the videos, the little funny videos with, um, I cannot think of her name, but it is the Caucasian girl. And she talks about millennials and clip-ins and it, it gives that. Like, it, if I can find a clip to insert in this, in this here video, it gives that. And I just, mm -mm, that ain't it. It's not it. So I feel like to get the best look, it is best to get hair that is um like no more than like four like two to four inches so if you know your hair your hair stopped like right above your shoulders baby you 14 inch i promise you it's going to slay you're going to give a, a slay now this is from a perspective now you guys if you are leaving all of your hair out now if you want me to i can do a separate video of me doing a braid down and installing clip-ins and giving you guys kind of a different perspective on that. Let me know down in the comment section. And like I stated before, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any info from your beauty bestie and make sure you like this video. And I highly suggest when um, having your hair out with the seamless clip-ins is that it's going to feel I hate to use the word tight, but like you're gonna feel you're gonna feel it. And it's with that being said, you wanna make sure that you are not applying clips directly to your hairline. 
I repeat, make sure you are not applying clips directly to your hairline because there is tension there from the clips, but it is distributed differently. And in the long term, you can damage your hairline or your hair with clip-ins if not applied in a way that is healthy, okay? So last but not least, one thing that I will say you guys need to know, decide what look you're trying to give. Decide what look you're trying to give. And I'm just gonna elaborate on that very, very quickly. What I mean by what look you're trying to give, if you know that typically you like to wear um, long extensions and you do weaves that are long, even though your hair is short, those types of things, you may want to get a braid down with the clip-ins. Um, and that will also cause for you to have to get more than 200 grams. You're gonna probably need 300 grams of clip-ins. So just definitely keep those types of things in mind when you are thinking about getting the seamless clip-ins because if you know you're gonna wear a 20 inch and you know your hair is only 14 inches long and you think you're only gonna buy 100 grams of clips, baby, that's not gonna be enough. That, that will never be enough. You're gonna look real skimp with those clip-ins so that's that's why you want to pay attention to that and honestly i would highly suggest going to a stylist first because the stylist can maybe match you with the hair texture so like say for instance you want to wear um i don't know a blowout you want to give a look of like i just want to blow blow dry my hair and wear flexi rods right i want a hair that's going to match that the stylist should be able to point you in the direction of what seamless clip-ins to get that's going to match that hair texture because I feel like sometimes as a regular consumer, you may not know what exactly to get. So like me, I would suggest if that's the look that somebody's going for, I would suggest probably getting a kinky straight if they, if they have a textured type of hair. If their hair is extremely textured, that's what I would recommend if they want a blown out flexi rod type of situation. Now, if you are a relaxed girly, and you're like, okay, I want this to look like that, then I would probably say, yeah, maybe just do yaki, which is what I have. I am not relaxed, but comma, I do um, have heat trained hair. So I went with a yaki straight. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, I'm wearing 200 grams and it is cut. I started with an 18 inch. It wasn't giving what it needed to give. So I cut it and I layered it to make it look better. And that goes into another thing. Just know you're gonna have to cut these clip-ins. Like if you want them to lay good and look good when you apply them, you're gonna have to cut them. And not necessarily in the back. I mean, you can, but I wouldn't suggest it if um, you're doing it yourself or the person that's doing it for you um, is not gonna pay attention to your natural hair and ask them to cut your natural hair. So I would say just Maybe you can install them yourself, walk into the salon and say, hey, I just want to do some face framing in the front of my clips. They're already installed. Or, you know, you can go wherever you want for that. But that's that would be my suggestion. And last but not least, for real, for real this time, for real, for real this time, you got to come up with a way of how to storage these things because, baby, it's a headache, okay? I, the first time I actually had them, because I'm going to be real with y'all and I'm I, I'm always honest with y'all. This is the first time in my life I've ever worn clip-ins, like ever. So I'm thinking, okay, take them out, put them in my little bag, and then put them back in. No, you got to create a way because if not, imagine if you've already face framed and you got all, all this stuff like jumbled together. You don't know what goes where and it's like a jigsaw puzzle. So this is what I suggest um, on how to storage it to make sure the limbs are right. Start by taking down the back first. I take down the back first and then I clip them together with a duckbill clip. Then I take down the left side, put them down, clip them with another clip. Then I take down the right side and clip them with another clip. So all I have to do is pull them back out and then whatever kind of has a, you know, whatever slant is in it will determine if it goes on the right side or the left side and the, the back is all the same length because the back was never cut. So definitely you're gonna have to create a regimen for that because if not, you're going to struggle with getting the same look every time. You're gonna struggle with that. 
Because the first couple of times, I was like, Jada, what? Like, y'all, sometimes y'all think that stylists don't be having issues, but we do be having issues. And I was like, Jada, what is this? This does not look like what it looked like when you first did it. So I really hope those couple of tips and things that you need to know before you get um, seamless clip-ins, I really hope they helped. If you do have any questions, like I stated before, go ahead and put those in the comment section. I'll definitely answer those. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any information from your beauty bestie. Y'all know I keep it real. And don't forget, you guys, as always, I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next video.